All right. Thank you so much for coming in. If you could um, tell the folks that are viewing what your name is, where you're from, and what year you graduated from high school. Uh, my name is Thomas Kessman. I'm from Concord, Michigan. Went to Concord High School. Graduated in uh, 2018. And yeah. yeah. So did you grow up in Concord? Uh, yeah. I grew up basically all my life in Concord. Nice. Nice. And did you enjoy school, high school, middle school? And did you, how did you feel about it? About Yes and no. I mean, school wasn't always my favorite thing, but, um, you know, kind of sports kind of helped too and made right. it a lot easier and everything. So tell us a little bit about um, when you were in high school, what your plans were. This, the con focus of this conversation is really about what your pathway has been since high school. And obviously you have your gear on, but I, I want you, I should say your uniform, excuse me, not your gear, but um, I should, because I want to be respectful. Um, but I really want folks to know your story. And so the goal of this is to kind of give a testimony of what your thoughts were when you maybe even were younger than high school. And, and if you knew what you wanted to do, no, do, didn't know what you wanted to do and kind of that path. Tell us about your story. So when I was super young, I always wanted to be a, a DNR officer or do something with the uh, with the environment, and um, you know, still could be a possibility in the future. You never know. Um, so I, I love the outdoors. Uh, the College and Career Action Center helped me get a, a job shadow for it was an environmental studies type thing over at um, Calvin College. Um, did that for a couple of days and. It was interesting. I definitely liked it, um, but I just I had no clue what I wanted to do. I didn't know if I wanted to go to college. I didn't know if I wanted to do this work. Um, didn't really. The only really thing I knew I wanted to do is I wanted to run cross country at mm -hmm. the time. Um, I wanted to run college and um, just kind of took the first offer that came to me, which was Lansing Community College. And, uh, it was a full ride, and so and it was, you know, so I, I got free college. I didn't know if I, how much I would like college, and so I tried it. Went for a semester and a half. Um, didn't do so well just because I didn't like I don't like school. Mm -hmm. um, school is not always my thing. I do much better working and learning hands on. Um, but I got the chance to run in college, so that made me pretty happy. Um, got out of college, or dropped out of college, and started working for. The Lansing Lugnuts um, minor league baseball team up in Lansing and I was the mascot for a little bit and then also I worked grounds crew um, ended up going full-time because I worked really hard uh, for half the summer and they decided to put me on be an assistant groundskeeper so I was full-time um, putting in a lot of hours but I absolutely loved it nice um, one of my probably my favorite job to this day um, I had so much fun just being in that atmosphere, but it just didn't fit my lifestyle, mm -hmm. more or less, and my future lifestyle, how I wanted my future to be. Um, so then uh, quit there and joined. Can, can I ask you a question about yeah. that? When you say it didn't fit your lifestyle and how you wanted your future to be, was that because, why was that? Um, just because it was... So we were saying... Okay, and you were talking about the um, summer position and how it was not the uh, didn't align yeah. with. Okay, so I you know I've always wanted to settle down and have a, a family and a farm um, when I get older, and it just with that job you move all over the country a lot, mm -hmm. um, and you're always working throughout the summer, which I loved it because I love working. It's it's I mean it keeps me busy. Right, and I like to stay busy. Um, but uh, I just, just that lifestyle is just super all summer. I mean, I like to have summers to myself, not to myself, but, you know, be able to do some things during the summer that I just wasn't able to do. Um, still loved it. I would, I mean, I would go back mm -hmm. sometimes if, you know, even working on a golf course, just mowing every day and everything. Mm -hmm. I, I just, I love that stuff. And, but after that, I went to uh, this place called Ayers Basement Systems. It was uh, construction. Um, worked there. I was doing really well. I was, uh, if I would have stayed in, I would have became foreman this year. Mm -hmm. um, it was just, it was ha very hard work. Mm -hmm. I was getting paid very good money, but it was very hard work. 
backbreaking work and um, just something I didn't want to put my body through for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. I, just, I wanted to save my body because, you know, I'm 21 years old. Mm -hmm. I can't have a bad back by the time I'm 30 or something. Right, like right. Just, and uh, loved it, loved the, just the, um, what's the word? I don't know, like just like every, yeah, the, everybody, just like the, um, the environment, the environment and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just everybody that's with it, uh, just good, good friends, mm -hmm. you make great, I made some great friends out of there, um, then, uh, Sergeant Riggs called me mm -hmm. one day, and while I was at work, and started talking to him, and, uh, went in for an appointment, and just, Kept going through with it. I actually stopped talking to him for about a month and a half just because I wasn't sure that that was the option I wanted. Mm -hmm. um, but I ended up coming back and I uh, I will, left for basic training March 23rd okay. of 2021 and um, graduated in, on May 14th and um, started learning my job as an electrical environmental. Um, basically, I'm an a electrician for aircraft, and I work on the air conditioning, oxygen mm -hmm. systems, you know, everything on aircraft. And, you know, just getting to see all these aircraft and work on all these aircraft that I get to see, you know, I, I can say that I've sat in multiple fighter, fighter jets, and mm -hmm. not many people can say that. And very good camaraderie mm -hmm. out of the whole thing. Um, made some amazing friends so far, and I've only been in for six months, and I love my job. Nice. I love what I do, and um, I'm excited, and I'm, I'm excited for what the future holds with the Air Force, and it's it's been good to me so far, so. That's great. So how long, um, how long are you, Is I don't know if I'm using correct verbiage, committed for? Yep, okay. so I, uh, I signed a six-year contract. Mm -hmm. You can sign a four- to six-year contract. Um, with the six-year contract, you get a couple of different, um, I got a little bit of a bonus depending on your job, and then I also got a higher rank coming out of tech school. Nice. Um, most people would be at like E2, I got an E3, mm -hmm. so it means more pay. Um, and so I got six years, we'll see after nice. that six years how long I stay in after that, if mm -hmm. I stay in for a full 20 or if I get out, you know, it just depends on where I'm at with my life and at that point in time. And after the six years, um, are, are there any um, perks from being in there in terms of retirement or education? Um, so you get, while you're in, you can get a, it's called the Community College of the Air Force. Mm -hmm. um, it's a free associate's degree. Mm -hmm. um, and then they also give uh, tuition assistance. Mm -hmm. So if you wanna go to college while you're in, um, you can get assistance while you're in mm -hmm. without using your GI Bill and then once you get out you have your GI Bill if you want to um, go to college after that so um, and then after six there won't be you have to do a 20 for like a pension for okay. a retirement pension but I mean I already have a retirement account set up nice. so where you can even if I did get out after the six years, I would be able to have that retirement account and it can just keep growing. Yeah, and you can always put money into a Roth IRA on the yeah. side. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, 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 and it's beautiful, <clears throat> I think, too, that you're in uh, the Air Force and you can get stackable credentials in the Air Force that are transferable if you decide to leave the Air Force or you can continue your whole career in the Air Force, which is a wonderful decision as yeah. well. So and there's, there's licenses where, you know, you can, you can get a license once you get out and uh, you can make quite a bit of money yeah. out if, you know, that's something you want. If you don't want it, you know, you can still make decent money, but you know, maintenance is, isn't always for everybody. There's tons of other jobs, mm -hmm. you know, but I like working with my hands. Yeah. Um, that was always a great thing about me is I, I've always, I've been working since I was 12 years old, um, working on farms and everything. And it's just something I love to do and I'll always do. And so you're finding gratification, you're finding purpose, it sounds like, yes, which is really what it's about. It's not about, you know, it's not about a job per se. It's about really cultivating purpose. Yep, and and, and feel like I've done something and yeah. I'm doing something beyond me. Yeah. In the Air Force. So 
That's great. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story with other folks and and um, just letting people know that it's a it's a journey and and you've already done quite a few things on your journey and you will continue to do things on your journey. And so we want people to know that it, it's not just you start and stop or you have to do something for this long period of time. You're a good example of someone that's diversified since you graduated, what they've done. You've gone down some different paths. You haven't gotten into a ton of debt, which we love. Um, and then you're also doing something um, that you are feeling purposeful about. So that's great. Yep. Thank you so much for sharing. Mm -hmm. All right.